Steph London Yo. in the building. Yeah. Hi. Hey. Steph London, you are part of Apple Music up next. Yes, that's amazing. I'm very happy to be able to speak to you about this because you are part of this project where we get to learn about who you are. Now, I know you've probably told stories a million times, but we're going to do this properly today. We're going to start from scratch. Yeah. But let's take it right back to the start, get everybody up to speed. You were born in Birmingham. Mm -hmm. Then you moved to Holland. Mm -hmm. And then you moved, not back to Birmingham, you came back to the UK, but you came to London. Straight to London. Do you remember your first musical memory? It had to be when I was nine. Mm. Um... My dad took me to the studio. I was like, cool, what am I going to do? I was so nervous. And he's like, he just wanted you to rap. So he already writ had the hook written. I got to the <laughs> studio. And I guess he wanted something like, you remember Jay-Z, Hard Not Life? Yes. Was that the like, oh, I want to do this now? Yeah, I always knew. I think I knew from about eight, though. Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, used to, I always write, wrote songs. And then also, I would sing my songs around my friends. And then, like, my two friends, they knew word for word. And then one day, I must have went to go see my friends really, like, really far. It was out at the ends. We might, might have been, like, 40 minutes away, but that's far. Mm. And um, we were just chilling on some bridge, just do, doing nothing. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I was with their cousins, and then they started singing this song. And I'm like, I know this song. And then my friend was like, Steph, that's your song. I taught them the lyrics. I'm like, oh. <laughs> no, that, no, that feeling <laughs> was crazy. So yeah. you have how many brothers and sisters all together? There's seven of us. Is this a thing in your life where you've always had to fight for the attention in the room? Do you know what? Growing up, I was always confident. Like, I knew my role. I was just me. I didn't yeah. care if, uh, if there was oh, any favourites. Cool. Yeah, I was just me. And I was very responsible. So anything I wanted. So, like, I put myself in piano lessons, in dance class. What? Yeah, kickboxing. My mum wouldn't do I'd just bring the forms. Mum, sign it, sign it. Like, <laughs> I would just do that. And then, um, yeah, I would always arrange all my stuff. So I was like, I'm a lonely. I'm a, I'm my own thing. <laughs> But you kinda. looked after yourself and you kind of yeah. knew what you wanted to do. Yeah, always. I always knew. Always knew. Like, sick. Yeah. So you said, obviously, your parents are Jamaican. Yeah. You were born in Birmingham. Mm -hmm. You have lived in England. You live in Holland. Yeah. What makes you who you are and who do you identify with most? The core part of me is definitely stems from my family, my parents. Mm. The, just, they, they both born and raised in Jamaica. Right, okay. I feel like I grew up in Jamaica because my household was like literally... Jamaica. And there was no Jamaicans in Holland. <laughs> like there was none. Yeah. Like when people you say, where are you from? I used to be like, Jamaica. They're like... Where's that? I'd be like, do you know Sean Paul? <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, that's me, that's me, that's me. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm not even joking. That's brilliant. Mm -hmm. um, is there one artist you would say, when you was writing those lyrics and your friends were singing them and you were really shy and embarrassed, that inspired you to do that? The person that you saw and you were like, I'm going there. I was such a big fan of Destiny Childs. Okay. Because in school, we always used to have these talent shows and I used to always want my girls with me to like sing and dance. Yeah. So I just inspired to be like Destiny's Charles. <laughs> and I could never be the Beyonce because I never had like long hair. And <laughs> my friend, she, my friend, she lives with me now. She's from Holland as well. I knew her, known her since I was like eight. Her name's Lily. And she, I used to always say, okay, you're going to have to be Beyonce. Cool. Because you got the long hair. She had the long hair, the brown eyes. But guess Wait, what? So who were you? I don't know. I didn't look like no one, but I was just... <laughs> I, I was going to say someone. So no. you were just a, like an we, extra member. Yeah, I was just somebody. We didn't, we didn't have a name for me because I didn't look like anyone. I was just in the group. That is <laughs> but amazing. guess what? When we ended up performing, none of you the lyrics. <laughs> so like I was everyone anyway. I was Michelle, Kelly, oh, everybody, Beyonce. <laughs> I'm not even joking. This is real. Like, I swear to God, when you used to see, if you saw our performance, you would think, look what Steph's doing to these poor girls, man. <laughs> Again, man, she's dragging them out. Like I, I used to be like, rehearsal. Listen, girls, make sure you're here. They used to be like, oh, we got to go rehearsal at Steph's house again, man. She, <laughs> I was just living your dream, basically. I was just, yeah, having them tag along with <laughs> my dream. I swear to God. It's... Do you remember the first video you ever uploaded to YouTube of you, of you performing? Yeah, I do. What was it? Um, it was More Fire in 2013. I got tired of going places and telling people I'm an artist. They're like, oh, where, where's your music? I'd be like, um, yeah, I'm working on that. So I thought, I went back to the studio, I was like, listen, we need to just shoot a video, man. I'm tired of going up to people, telling them I do music. I asked my boyfriend to pay for it. Was two grand, you know. What? So expensive. Your first video on YouTube cost two thousand. I was just extra girl. Were you Steph London at that time? I was. So from that moment, around that time is when I actually knew that this is this is it. This is me. Right. Like, okay. This is Steph London, and I don't care what anyone says. Like that's me. You put out these videos. They're remixes. They're freestyles. Not none of them are original music, but no. they're tunes that obviously a lot of people were listening to at the time. Yeah. People were interested in what you were doing. Yeah. And then tell me about where you're like, okay, cool. I need to put out something that's mine now. I got some shmoney girl. Took myself to LA and then I was there and then I was working with um, this producer and I was there. I ended up, I was meant to be there for a couple of weeks. I ended up being there for three months. And I thought, okay, cool. Since I'm here, I might as well just do a video, do mm -hmm. something for the three months that I've been here. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? So I just thought, okay, cool, let's shoot this video. Shot it. Sorry, I was like, nah, I don't really like it. I like, Steph, just put it out. You did all this thing, put it out. I was like, I don't really like it. Put it out. Put it out. Yeah. Did you expect for people to even care? Or were you just doing this because it was something that you knew you wanted to do? 
Yeah, like music was never like, oh, if I don't make it at this age. I never ever thought that. Like, mm. I don't know, all the people that say all these stuff, I don't get it because for me it's like, I just do music. Yeah. I don't know. And yeah. I just, I used to think, yeah, okay, as soon as I'm sick, don't worry, Steph, I'll just walk through Tottenham. I might see Skepta Rex to just <laughs> jump on a track with me. I swear to God, that's what I used to say. I say, watch when I'm serious and I, I know my sound. So I walk through Tottenham, find Skepta, <laughs> like just see him, like, yeah, yeah. No, it's I'm amazing. Sick. It's amazing. It wasn't as easy as that, but... <laughs> it really is not, by the it's way, not guys. As, it's not as easy as that, but no, nah, I always knew that I was going to do music. Like, it wasn't never like, if I don't. It was always sick. like, when I do. So then at what point did you make Hurting Me? Because Hurting Me is, is you singing. Yeah, so I literally made Hurting Me, I think, um, a month, month and a half before it dropped. It was really quick. Like, no, I made it. And I was like, yeah, this is my next single. This is my, this is my single. Well, that quick? Yeah, and that was my single. That's my first single off being signed to a, um, a major. And um, we originally had something else. And I was like, no, I'm just going to do this. I like this one. And then everywhere, I'm sure you went and I went and anyone else went, we could yeah. hear this song playing. Everywhere. Out of cars, it's true. Pubs, and everyone, families. I never knew it was going to be like, almost like turning to some comedy stuff. Because everyone, you got guys <laughs> singing to it and just doing bad funny stuff to it and it's like it's always funny it's always fun it's such a I'm so happy I did that song I think everyone's had so much laughter from it people would always um, send me snaps of their mom in the kitchen dancing to it like yeah they're little kids all the time like nah it's crazy what inspires you to write Steph London? I get inspired by everything man it could be anything hurt, pain, happiness do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. you are at a very exciting stage in your life I think anyway I hope you feel the same yeah. Uh, you've been nominated for a Brits Critic Choice Award as yes, well. Yes, that's a big um, as well. You've obviously signed to yourself, which is so amazing. Um, and this has all happened in what space of time? A year and a year, a and, year a bit? and a bit. Yeah. A year and a bit. A year and a bit. Yeah. It's been Do a you lot. think about what 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 is next? No, you just keep going. You just keep you going. Just keep going with what was. Because it must feel think. mad. Yeah, it is. But I don't. I don't even want to think about all the next things because that's what I'm saying. It's so mad. Mm. But have you made so even bad. like a little plan? Are you like? You know, when I say I'm bad at planning, I kind of I'm kind of bad at just putting a whole structure together. I know what I want, okay. so I do know like, okay, this is what I want to do. This is what, but I don't, I'm bad at like saying this is exactly it. I just, how it's happening? Yeah, yeah. How it's gonna happen? How <laughs> yeah. it's gonna walk? I just know this is what I want, and however it happens, it that's happens. What, that's gonna happen. Yeah, you're always working. Yeah, always. You I really love are. studio though. I love it. You're, the, you're probably the only person in the world that says that out loud. No, really, that's crazy. I to love me. it. I'm so I'm so unhappy that I'm not in the studio for so long. I've been on the road. I, guys, I love doing the shows. Guys, I love seeing you guys. I love my dogs. Don't get it twisted. No, I love you. I really do. But I love to be in a studio. I, I, like when I, used, when I was working on Real Thing, I swear to God, I was in the studio at least five to six days a week and I was sleeping there as well a lot. Crazy. Yeah, and I love it. That's just what I want to do. Do people contact you a lot to work with you? Who's, who's the latest person to say, I really want to make a track with you or get in the studio with you? Um, I was just talking to Cranium. We always said we wanted to do something. Yeah. So yeah, I love Cranium. I got some um so I got some stuff coming with Nave Smalls. Yes. I love Nave. We did yeah. something a while ago. It was gonna be on this project. <laughs> Are there people that you've reached out to? I know you spoke to Foxy Brown. Yeah. Are there people like that have given you good advice as you're like moving forward yeah. and so fast in your career as well? Yeah. Jake has also been um he gave me a lot of advice yeah. as well in the beginning. There was a time when I was in Toronto and um yeah, just driving to some restaurant or something, end up being in his car. Don't ask me how, girl. But <laughs> I was in the car, like, I was just there with Drake, just me and Drake. And he was, he was this one was talking about labels, like, okay, yeah, what do you think about Sai and that? And he was just telling me his story with labels and that. Yeah. And yeah, he gave me good insight. And he just, he kind of was saying the stuff I was already thinking anyway. But it was nice to just confirm Yeah, it was just that. nice to hear from someone else. Because sometimes you think these people are so big and they might be going through something totally different when we're all kind of just... Going through the same thing. Kind of going through the same thing. I hear you. Yeah. What can people expect from you? Let's fast forward to the end of 2018. What are we going to be like? Steph has done this. Um, Steph has done a madness. <laughs> <laughs> this An slicker girl, madness. this girl from Clapton, always <laughs> running up her mouth, actually going to do this and that, and she actually did it. That's what I want to do. That's what it's going to be. Yeah, I love it. Steph London, up next on Apple Music. We cannot wait to hear whatever the hell it is. <laughs> it's gonna be, it's gonna be mad, but that's the most important thing. It's going to be mad. Yeah. One, two, ting. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>